you're Anna, and welcome to FN Tahiti. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's, I think I mentioned in the last video, it's been a while since I've actually been able to sit down and play properly with Easter and, and so on, but we've come back at the right moment to take part in the OCL. So there was ages ago, I was messing around with the maths and couldn't work out if we had qualified or not because the game was showing three teams as qualifying. Um, but it turns out, if we look at the groups, we can confirm, finally, that the teams that have qualified are us. And further down here, Taha as well, which didn't quite fit with the teams who were in first, second and third. I mean, we were, we were in the top two, so that's fine. I can't remember if Taha were first or third, but somehow they're, they're in. And we've got a relatively, I don't want to say easy and jinx it, but we, we've avoided teams from TT because of the way the seeding works. We've also managed to avoid Auckland City and Team Wellington, as well as the Solomon Warriors who have taken points against us uh, in the past. So we've got Ian Geni Sport, which is clearly not how that's said. Uh, Lotaha Apai, again, clearly not how that's said. And Suva, probably also not how that's pronounced. But we've got them. My first game is against... I cannot remember, so I'll just click continue. But in this episode, I'm going to try and get through the three group matches, get them all in, in one. We're against uh, Lotaha, as I like to call them, because I can't pronounce it properly. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. So Bolt's coming in for Chant, because Chant is out injured, which is fine, because Bolt's kind of ahead of Chan in the pecking order, it's just injuries and then Chan has had that run. Um, uh, Waits come in for Pons because Pons is a little bit tired. Weaver comes back into the team and that's mainly it for the changes. Tamangara on the bench, big man who has played in the OCL before for his original team. Go on Spearling, rock it in. Or not, do that. Out wide to wait, did the weird little spin. And there we go, Jared gets it in, opens the scoring, it's not taking too long. Check what highlights this on, yeah, it's on key. Just checking, because mainly a, um, uh, Steve has, there we go. Yeah, because I've been, when I've had a chance to play, I've also been playing the offline save, because I need the opportunity, obviously, to record for this one. Whereas if it's the offline one, I can just spin speed ahead and do whatever I want. So I've been playing a kind of like UK journeyman using some of the extended leagues. I've been playing around with the kind of match settings for that. Just trying to make sure they didn't carry over. Because sometimes it does. Sometimes, oh, that's a weird goal. He clearly didn't mean that. That was actually just a terrible kind of cross. But we'll take it. We want to make sure we Finish first, so we get a better seeding if the seeding exists. I can never remember if it does. They've got some good names. So they've got a lot of uh, Fale Papan Lang Papalangis. Papalangis. Papal yeah. Fale Papalang. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be signing any of them because I can't say their name. So because of, of Easter, I'm also a bit behind on my. Um, like YouTube watching generally. So I normally watch Lucky Doki series, um, the Journeyman and the Fort William one. So I'm several episodes behind on that, so I need to catch up. I watch PC Plays' um, Guernsey and Vulcan series. But PC Plays has also got a video about um, getting the attributes, some of the stats, out of the FM game setup um, and then using it to work out what attributes and what positions kind of fit and what positions players are actually going to be good at compared to what the game says they're good at. Because uh, I guess the game's kind of limited by they have their kind of natural accomplished sort of positions and that kind of sets everything, even if their attribute distribution is actually better for something else. So in the past I have been tempted, for example, to play like a defender as a target man because they've got the target man attributes. But it's a good video, well worth the watch if you love getting stats out of things. 
I'm tempted to use some of it to just get more data out for then me to use. Oh, going on in. Good finish. Um, yeah, so I'm tempted to use it to just get more stats out so I can use my SPSS and inferential stuff, which you can see in my stats series. It just takes it down well, and it's just a great player. Him and Gerard, definite icons. Long throw of McIntyre, gone Richards. Oh, that almost snuck in. As if. Macassina, the centre back, is there to be the kind of poacher in the area. We don't need to see him again because that's just poor defending more than anything else. I think, from what I can remember about um, Oceanic football, that he and Geni Sport, H Sport, are probably the stronger of these teams. Because um, I recognise the name. It's mainly it. Main reason why. Right, let's get some players in. Kind of what I want to do is just make sure. Jared almost had that. Is just make sure that by the time we get to the third match, we're as good as qualified, so I can rotate in, and then we can be fresher for the knockout stages because the knockout stages follow on. Um, relatively quickly, although saying that, I think they follow on relatively quickly if you're in the second round of the groups. I think the first two groups play all their matches. Go on, Yannin. Yeah, I think this, the first group play all of their matches. Well, the first two groups play all of their matches, and the next two groups play all of their matches like the week after. And then the knockouts happen. So actually, I think we're in the first round, so we might have a bit more of a break. Go on, wait, Sweeney. So you need the uh, Tangara there. It's been nodding that one in. Akatai going long. Weaver just looking at it. No rush, no urgency. I mean, four goals is fine. I can understand the kind of lack of urgency with, you know, a minute to go. Four goals up. Uh, just come on. What the... I mean, that was a good tackle because I guess he got the ball. But it was from behind and it was a lunge. Which I do kind of like to see. It's just worrying that it still happens from that kind of angle. We do still lose quite a few players. So there we go. Nice clear win. And I will come back for uh, the next match in just a second. Okay, now we're back for the Suva match. Um, gone on about five days. I've made a few changes here. So, um, Andre's coming on for Spearling in the centre of midfield, that box to box role. O'Keefe and Tamangara replacing Yanin and. Uh, whatchamacallim? It's only a really important player, Jared, that's the one. He's, he's only like an icon. Why would I remember his name? Um, and I've brought um, Dallow in on for Richards. I think that's mainly it. Uh, just because there's some tiredness, so there's a few more 80s than I like. There's still some in the team as it stands. Uh, but even the press was saying Suva are a weaker squad than um, H Sport, which we've got next. So I thought, actually, if I'm going to rest, I should rest for this match rather than the Sport match, where I'll, I'll need to be a little bit stronger. If we win this one, we'll have still, I think, qualified anyway. It's been quieter. It's 25 minutes and no action. It's a bit of a scramble. Scramble and offside. I'm glad the game showed us that. That was exciting, wasn't it? Sorry, I just tapped the mic there to make sure it was on because I realised I hadn't checked before I started recording anything. Go on, wait. That's some spin on it. Come 
Come on, long ball it. Smacked it into his head. Ah, uh, this looks worrying. Okay. Looks like they've had the best chance so far. I'm worried that I'm going to have to do like a double striker substitution. Get rid of that. This is a little bit too close. I'm going to, at half time, I'm going to put on Yadin and Gerard. I need the goals. I can't be waiting around. I don't actually know if it's a striker issue. It could just be a lack of service. Go on, O'Keefe. There we go. They heard. They knew what was going on. Tamangara with his big massive ears, just like the big massive everything else. Heard what was going on. And to be honest, that really was mainly a misinception. Or poor defence that let O'Keefe through. That's fine. We'll take it. Don't get complacent. Who's stressed? Phil Lamb stressed by that. There's no one better to replace him. He can stay on even though he's stressed. Okay, I think Wick can come off in a bit. Bring Pons on. Just realised I'm also behind on Greyhead Gaming series, which I like to watch as well, which is always good. Good building a nation series on there. I mean, okay, that ball works. He did actually find the player. And why did O'Keefe, the shortest player on the pitch, go for that one? Why didn't someone else get that long before it dropped to his height? There we go. Offside scramble. Keith did well to get a shot away from that. I don't need to see this again. One goal's not really enough. Bring a Keith off. Bring Pons on as well. I've mentioned it a few times, but I'm actually glad I've got a bit more depth in the bench this season than compared to other seasons. Last season I would have had to start Yannin and Gerard, and then if it hadn't been working or they got tired or injured, I'd, I'd Wallace or Chisholm on the bench. Wallace is now away on loan, even though he's homegrown and we love him. And Chisholm's still hanging around, but bring a Stroud a few minutes. Chisholm's still hanging around as a backup option, but his contract's running out. He's going to leave at the end of the season. I'm not going to keep him on. He's been a loyal servant. But he's not being a prolific servant, so he can go. But that was kind of the options I had on the bench. I mean, technically, I also had O'Keefe, but I hadn't given him an opportunity. I didn't realise if he was any good. I think this is, I think, 1-0. It's going to be it. Or one all potentially, if they... Yeah, there we go. I think after this we go full strength against uh, H Sport because we've got to try and get some of this money for the club because otherwise we're going to have to move on. And I do love the humpbacks. I'm not against moving on. The game requires a certain amount of moving on potentially. Yeah, so we've qualified for the quarterfinals with the game in hand. Now it's all about just cementing that and keeping it going. So we'll come back for the H Sport H Sport match in just a second. So we're back for the Hitch Sport or Hanging Gengi. Yeah, that's not what I said there. Uh, match. I've rotated the team back to kind of full strength. So Yannin, and Gerard, Spearling, and Richards are all back in the starting lineup. It's a very narrow formation. We should still be winning this one, even though they're the stronger of the teams we're meant to be playing. Um, and we have qualified, we just need 
to do it with style, I think. We can keep a clean sheet again and get a few more goals for the tally. I'll be quite happy with that. If we win, I'll also be quite happy with that, even if we do concede. We're now fetching a wake it. There we go, Gerard starts it off. 18th goal of the season, not bad, seeing we're in February. Yannin's on 18 as well. We were described as debt ridden again before we entered this. I'm really nervous that we're getting to the point where we will be declared bankrupt. And I'm, I'm sure in some versions of FM, you got the issue with being bankrupt or going into administration and getting you know, points docked. If your debt exceeded your club worth, but I can't work out what our club worth is. I can definitely—I know what our debt is. Go and wake it in. How? How did they not? He was offside. Yeah. But how did he not just? There was time and space for him to cut it back and for him to not be offside. Never mind. See, I don't know how much the club's worth, so I don't know if we're kind of close to that, whether that still kind of exists as a thing. Um, I might check after this. When I go offline, before the next video, I might just see if I can work out how it works out in FM. Or if you know, stick it in the comments. But it's, um, it is worrying. What's interesting though, to me at least, um, is that in the league, so in the Premiership, the top three teams currently are Sky Brights, us, and Motu One. And we've got a game in hand over the Sky Bright, so we could go top. Um, Motu One also have got a game in hand somehow as well, so we could both potentially be top. But if I, you know, if any of those three win the title, that's another. Premiership title winner. So Sky Bright, Smoty One, and us haven't won it before. So there'll be no retaining or winning it for the second time. It'll be a new, fresh winner again. Plus, and since although we're the strongest, I think we've been in a seasons. Got more depth, generally just more quality. So I think this is our, probably our best chance of the title in a long time. Got Yan in. Looked like he should have scored that one, really. Yeah, although this looks like our best opportunity, Skybrights are pretty strong. So they beat us the last time we played them. So I think I played them off camera and they just, I think they thumped us 3 1 or something like that. Um, But they've just won the Inter Island Cup as well. <laughs> just rocketed that way. So yeah, they've won the Inter Island Cup. They're on a high. We might have a game in hand, but they've got the points. Got Maxina. What are they doing? It's not rugby. Go long. Sometimes you, when you've played enough hoofball, you get a feeling for when one of the left backs is going to start just scooping it long. 65th minute or so, you know, Benitez style. Uh, I think I might bring on Pons and Delayan. So I've got fresh wingers, fresh legs there. Because they've got... Oh, there we go. Is that a mistake? It was a weird angle. I didn't quite catch that properly, but... I'll do. Me too. It looks like he might have meant to, it's just a terrible angle. It's a problem with the direct camera, sometimes you just get weird angles like that. Jared's got is that his hat trick? There we go. Twentieth goal of the season. Not bad. I can make these subs now. It's not gonna make any difference. Let's Let's bring on O'Keefe for Yannin. Should really bring off. Gerard and Reston knows he's got his hat trick, but actually, if he's playing that well, might as well let him carry on so he can get a couple more. So 
So no matter what De Silva and Lotto match is, we're top of the group. Um, Suva could potentially creep into second place, I think, depending what their result against H Sport was. This is a much more important match for um, Sport than it is for us. He had no idea what was going on there, did he? Luck rather than skill there. We're through, and it looks like we might be through with a clean sheet in all three games as well. Which is good. There we go. It was kind of a one-man band performance by Gerard, but that's what we pay him for. In like two hundred pounds or something like that. Big money, big performances. So there we go. If we look at the um, groups, we are top. Let's see what happened in the other groups. So they've they're playing tomorrow, I think. So it could go either way. But it looks like the Warriors and Wellington are in a good position to get through, but. It'd be nice if maybe they didn't. Don't cry about that. And then next week, we've got the next two groups. So I'll come back um, either for the league games that fall in between, a few coming up, um, or it'll be for the knockout rounds. So we'll see. But thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.